Good afternoon. Today is a beautiful day here in the household. So we are going to be making drumsticks, more specifically chicken legs for the first time. So wish me luck. So the recipe that we are using today is chicken legs. Make sure they're thawed out or your spices will not stick. Then we're gonna do Dijon mustard. I just picked up this minced garlic. Um, generally, I mince my own, but I did not have a good garlic uh, garden this year. We've got some kosher salt, coconut aminos, um, olive oil, and then we have some crushed red pepper and some ground red pepper. So hang tight and I will show you what we do. Okay, so first things first, let's get all of our ingredients together. All right, we're gonna do half a teaspoon. Go. We got our half a teaspoon. I'm gonna put it in here. So now we're gonna get our half a cup of our healthy oil, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in this one. Or more specifically, let's stick it in this one. And then we're gonna get a quarter cup of aminos. Let's always try to get this fourth a cup of aminos here. This is gonna take a, a bit to drain. So if you're new here, press the subscribe button. Um, I am spreading awareness about the modified Atkins diet, which is similar to the keto diet for epilepsy. And I'm doing this one drop of food at a time. Now we've got that. Now let's do one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Oops, why is it so weird? Gotta love the one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And I am far from feeling good today, so. Everybody has their their bad days. So we'll put that Dijon mustard right there. I know you can't see it just yet. Um, I'll go ahead and move all of this back so you can see everything we're doing. So this right here was the olive oil. This was the coconut aminos was the crushed red pepper, the Dijon mustard, and we're gonna keep going. And 
then we need one teaspoon of minced garlic. It's garlic I've never opened before, so I generally use the brush stuff, but when in Rome. of minced garlic. That turned into about two tablespoons. We can't have that, so I'm gonna dump some out. Be right back. All right, so I got it down to one tablespoon. I'm big on not wasting food, so um, one tablespoon. Minced garlic here. And then, um, lastly, we're going to get the sea salt and black pepper. So, and that's really just to taste. But, One teaspoon of sea salt. We're just gonna do and one teaspoon of white pepper. Done, done. Okay, so I'm gonna let you see all of these things really quick. Today we're making chicken. And these are all the ingredients. I will write them in the comments just in case you can't see a nice pretty picture of it. We are going to turn the camera over and over and over. There we go. All right, my name's Lindsay. I am an irretractable epileptic. Let me show you how I cook chicken today. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to put this chicken in a Ziploc bag. I don't care what anybody has told you or what anybody has done, you have to put chicken in a bag. And we're gonna put it in here along with all of the ingredients that I have listed that are in these awesome cubes right here. And then we are going to shake it like a Polaroid picture. So, a modified Atkins diet was created to help epileptics in the 90s significantly easier than the keto diet, but it still has the same effects as the keto diet. So, my goal is to spread awareness and let you know, one, there are recipes, two, there are other warriors, and three, we stick together, we can find a cure. Okay, so now we want to shake this up like a Polaroid picture if you're from the 90s. So, shake, 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 shake. Then we're gonna put it back in the refrigerator overnight. And then I'll show you what to do next. All right, so we got the chicken out. Let me spray this really good. I don't want any more fat than what I have to have, so. We are going to lay this out and I'll have a normal rack right here. Nothing big, nothing special. And we're just going to try to put these drumsticks as evenly as possible without them touching. Got this 
Rock Mini Gum. And I am going to pour this on. And now we will call it a day. I'll pop them in the oven. took a little longer to cook than the rest of them so I might not actually eat that one but one two 